Hey, what's up? This is Ashray from Immersive Insiders and on this channel, we help you become professional XR developers and designers. In today's video, we are going to learn how to set up our Unity project and our Quest device in such a way that you will be able to play your scene directly onto the device without using a LAN cable that is wirelessly using AirLink. And this video is going to be divided into two sections. In the first part, we'll see how to set up the software and the Oculus headset. And in the second part, we'll see how to set up our Unity project. So let's get started. To begin with, you will have to download the Oculus software on your PC or laptop. To do that, you will have to visit this website. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Once you're on this page, you can scroll down till you find the download software button. Click on it and that should start downloading your software. After that's done, you will have to go and install it. Now while installing, just follow the instructions that are given to you via pop-ups and set up your profile. I will see you once that's done. Alright, once you have set up your Oculus software, you can go to Devices, click on Add Headset, select Quest 2, click on Continue, select AirLink Wireless and click on Continue once again. And then you can put on your headset. Here, make sure that you're connected on the same Wi-Fi, the your laptop and your quest devices then you can go to settings click on system then you can select on quest link and here enable this option saying quest link once that's done you will have to open this pop-up and you'll have to enable use air link option now it, it might give you an error please try again click on ok and then let us open the pop-up again and here you can see it says confirm pairing code Make sure this code is shown on your PC app. So let us go out of the headset, open the PC app and here we have the code. You can click on confirm and let us go back into our headset and here you can click on continue as well. So with that, we have successfully connected our headset to our Oculus app. The next step would be to set up our Unity project. So I'll see you in Unity. All right, here we are in Unity. Now I'm using a base project which has already been set up for VR development and you can download the same as well. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Now once you have the project downloaded, you can go to File, Build Settings, go to Player Settings and here under XR Plugin Management, you need to make sure that the Oculus plugin is checked. Now if you want, you can use the Open XR plugin as well. It's totally up to you, but you cannot have both of them enabled simultaneously. It should be either Oculus or Open XR. So once that's done, uh, that's pretty much it for setting up uh, Unity. Next, we'll have to open the Oculus software, go to settings, go to the general tab, and here Open XR runtime is there. You'll have to click on set Oculus as active Open XR runtime. So that is what it's going to do. Once you have Click that, you'll have to go back into your headset and click on the quick settings. And here there's something called as quest link, click on that. And you'll have to select the laptop that you're currently converted uh, connected to and click on launch. So once that's done, it will take you to the link environment and I'll see you once we are inside. All right, so here we are in the link environment. You can get rid of your headset for a minute. Go back to Unity and press play and then we can go back inside and here you can see we are able to test the scene i can go here grab the helmet move around and teleport as well that's perfect so with that you have learned how to use airlink and test your unity scene uh, directly onto the quest device which means that you do not have to use link cable and you can have unrestricted moments now if you feel that this video has helped you, I'd highly appreciate it if you can subscribe and leave a thumbs up, which shows us that we can produce more videos just for you. By the way, we have a free ebook linked in the description which talks about the biggest mistakes you could make as an aspiring XR developer. Now this will give you a huge advantage over others, so you should definitely check it out. If something did not work for you or if it worked perfectly fine, then do let us know in the description below. And as always, I will see you in the next one.